Oh, what the hell's going on? Hello, welcome to the channel. You freaking well behave. Oh, this is the this is the backup phone we're on. Um, it's a channel update. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it with this phone, but mm, it does that. It's needing fixed. Um, or maybe it's just full. Right, so we're at three one five nine. Uh, what actually has happened is the videos that I'm doing. The views are going up because um, for example right that there that video there St Ninian's Roundabout Sterling Scotland UK and I didn't even write much description or anything I mean obviously I do a lot of videos so it would be better if I put a bit more time you know to watch them and then make up stories about them or write stuff. Anyway, that's a 20 minute video and that's had 1260 views which, and there's another one just below it, the BMW getting in the way at St Ninian's around about, that's 2319 views <sighs> so for a video that's actually quite a lot for me, you know because the shorts were, we were all, I, know, I was always getting big views in shorts so, I'm at a point now, yeah, where it's going quite well. But, you know, the real reason for doing art, the, the YouTube channel is the art. I'm supposed to be doing art. And I know it's went off on a bit of a tangent, right? I know that, so. Right. So, we'll start at the beginning. There's a hidden, there's a hidden thing in here. This is a lot that I'm going to deal with snotograms today. I'm not very happy using this phone. It's not working very well. So we'll just do a quickie. Let's, are you ready for this? Show hidden comments. Oh, that's quite a lot. You, mm, J Chris Walker. You whinging muppet. Can't even spell whinging. The white days, you see them. Have a look and see what else. They're, they're actually trolls, you know, um, you get like other messages of the same person. I don't take them, you know, don't take it personally, you just have a look, um, have a wee bit of a laugh and then block them or report them. I mean, you whinging them up at, so, that's about the BMW video that I just talked about. Uh, we are sitting in roundabout. See, this is the main thruster. Thrust, that's not the word. I got that off somebody else. The main point of fact is that the government is, or, or somebody, the government or above, is trying to take our cars off us. And that's the, well, that's the sort of like extreme end of this, right? You know, and obviously everything doesn't necessarily land up like that, but they're going about their business to stop us from getting around to them. So what you always got to think of, like that video there, think about it, I'm a care worker, because I, I did care work, right? You've got 36 clients to see, needy clients who need a, you, because there's nobody else to help them, right? You try to get to see 36. You've got this idiot in the BMW here, who isn't a care worker, right? Because if, if they were care workers, they wouldn't be driving at 17 miles per hour, right? So they're on the fucking way, right? So the prevent. So this is what's going wrong. So all this kind of safety stuff, right, is encouraging people to be fannies. And what's going to happen is business is going to collapse. You're not going to be able to do business in Scotland, certainly, Wales, England, or Northern Ireland, or anywhere Ireland. But let's just stick to Scotland, right? You're not going to be able to do business because there's there's nobody going to want to do business here because you can't get around. You know, we don't all have helicopters and Learjets. And the people that want us to implement that shit have Learjets and helicopters, right? So Chris Walker, let's have a look at Chris Walker. Um, doesn't have any videos. It's a typical attitude, a total fad. You know, you don't have any videos, but you're, you know, you're not stepping out there and doing anything. You're just a, t a tosser, right? 
So, go and zoom up it. Well, I'll just report it as spam. Right, so that was that one. Now, this one's in the offensive comments, but it's actually a sensible comment. Now, this is about this video. Illegal sign, Moss Road. Dog, there's no sign of road, Moss Road, Falker. Now, that's in the Moss Road. I'm going to have to fucking end this video and get use other phone. This phone's just going all weird. Um, it's going all weird. Right, um, it's not responding. Right, um, oh, fuck off. Oh, Jesus. Why? So what my point was, there's two points to this video, right? If you want to look up the video and watch it, that's it there. Just type that in. The guy there is walking his dog, right? And I, I don't have a problem with that. You know, you should walk your dog. I think that road's dangerous for walking dogs. But I, I would probably walk along that road as well. <sighs> He's walking the wrong side of the road and that he should be on the other side of the road so he can see traffic coming towards him. That's probably in the highway code. I don't know if it is. I think most people, sensible people know that, right? I wouldn't have walked my dog there, but... So the next point is, they've chosen to build these houses on that you know, at the side of that road. That road's been there for hundreds of years, right? It probably has. I don't know how long it's been there for. But it's been there for a long time, right? So they've built the houses there. So they go and... The people that live there went and campaigned to the council to get that sign put up, telling people to slow down. But it, it's... Uh, the reason I'm claiming it's illegal is because there's no... It hasn't been done following the uh, planning. So this is... the. So the sign, so there's no speed limit signs there, and that's because they can't get planning. So the council goes and put a slow down sign up. So the problem with all this sort of thing is that if you're going to allow councils to do whatever they feel like, or anyone, or politicians, without following the planning, sidestepping it and slithering around it, and getting the police to get people to slow down to 20 miles per hour when it's not illegal, that is wrong. That's why our... You know, that's why we have, in the British legal system, Scottish, English, British, whatever you want to call it, it, it's set in stone. It's supposed to be fair for everyone. And if you're going to start sidestepping everything, then why don't we just sidestep everything? So it's only things that they want us to sidestep, like these things. Why don't we sidestep other things? I can't think of any examples right now, right? So let's just... So this guy says, Why is the retard not walking the other side, pointless wearing high vis if you get clipped by vehicle you can't see? Well, that was a uh, sensible comment. Right, so that's a, so I've approved that comment. Well, I shouldn't have called him a retard, but... Right, what's this? You are an arsehole jock. You ain't got a clue how to make anything worth watching. Save yourself the embarrassment. Watch a few more vids. Learn to walk before you try to run. Uh, it's like, well, you know, that's a bit... That, there's an awful lot, and that's quite a lot to take on there. Right, you are an arsehole jock, right? So I'm Scottish, right? I'm an arsehole, according to this guy, right? You ain't got a clue on how to make anything worth watching, right? Okay, right. So save your... Well, what that means is that he'd, he is an arsehole, right? He's probably not a jock, right? I don't care about the jock thing, by the way. Call me a jock if you like, I don't care, right? Uh, I'm Scottish. I come from Scotland. I've got Scottish parents, grandparents, blah, blah, blah. With a Scandinavian face, right? I couldn't give a fuck either way or the other. I didn't choose my genetics. I didn't choose where I come from, right? I can choose where I live, right? And I still live in Scotland, but that's just probably out of just convenience, right? Anyway, you are an arsehole jock. You ain't got a clue how to make anything worth watching. Save yourself the embarrassment. Watch a few more vids. Learn to walk for trying to run. So in the end, it goes, save yourself the embarrassment. So he's embarrassed with me. Well... That's not my problem, right? So if you're embarrassed with me, um, I mean, I've spent a whole life being embarrassed. I've spent a whole life with anxiety, with doubt, regret. You know, I, I suffer from sort of depre severe depression and stuff like that. I, I've, I've spent a whole life with that, right? So I'm now at the point where I might as well just keep going and be fucking embarrassing, right? So the, the other thing is, you have to... Um, be, you have to build up your confidence that that 
you are not, you know, if you're going to be in some form of entertainment, right, acting or, like, I mean, you really need to work out what are these videos, what, you know, what what does it involve, you know, you're, I'm giving up a bit of myself, I'm giving myself up, uh, I'm, I'm sharing my time with, with the viewers, um, I'm saying embarrassing things, I'm saying things that I would normally say, I'm me, it's real, I, and I think that's, so the, you, what you've got to ask yourself is, this guy here, why are so many people watching the videos, right? Why, why is that then? You know? So, so he's saying, he then goes on to say, watch a few more vids, learn to walk before trying to run. But, so that's kind of positive, that bit there. It's like advice, watch a few more vids. So I've got to watch some and then go back and do it differently and learn, you know, to walk before trying to run. So he thinks, so... I think there'll be a bit of a, resume, a bit of resentment going on with this guy. Now, because he called me an arsehole, I can't, obviously, take on a positive angle to this and, and publish it. Um, so we'll have a look at him. I can't... You can't really be abusive. So he's a train spotter, right? Um, train spotters, truck spotters, radio-controlled yachts on a Lincoln Lake. So I, I press these buttons... Um, what happens a lot of times I press people's buttons I make them angry you know and it's cause it, it's <laughs> it's cause they can't right oh yeah so right he's, he's got the intro there right right there's a lake there and the radio controlled duck that duck's radio controlled by the way right that's actually a real boat that's another radio controlled duck I get, I get the type of person he is. I get it. Get it. I totally get it. Right, so... <laughs> he's, um... <clears throat> Hi, I'm after plans for this yacht for a model engineering friend. Have you any of that could help? It would be appreciated. The original manufacturer, Met Calf Moldens, returned so this most... I mean, why are you call me an arsehole? You're talking to this guy in a pleasant way, and yet you've called me an arsehole. I mean, what's wrong with that? You know? Um, you know, what? you don't like my video. I've annoyed you, somehow. And this video you've made here is, is pish, right? There's no sound to it for start. Right? There's no sound. You know, it's like, who wants to watch a video with no sound? Let's have a look. 389 views. Yeah, quite a lot, really. Five years ago. You know, so it's like, yeah, radio-controlled ducks, trains... D18, you're, you're hiding, you're, you're feeling, do you want to come and call me an arsehole in my face, like, you know, <laughs> when I kick you in the nuts, you know, how are you going to be about that, you know, when I kick you in the nuts, and I give you a fucking kick in, is that going to be funny for you, and then it'll be in the papers, you got beat up by a woman, you know, how's that going to look, well, <laughs> so it's like, what a fud, what a funny, what a fud. Um, you are an arsehole. So he's a type, there's a lot of this type of person. I'll just do this quickly and then we'll get moving. He's a type that does things a specific way and he resents my freedom because I just get out there and jump about like an idiot and do things and say things. And he doesn't have that ability. He doesn't have the ability to talk complete shite like what I've got, right? And it, it's something I was born with. And also the freedom to do it i.e. I don't have any, you know, MD saying you can't go out today or you have to stay in, you know, or I need I need you to do this, that or the other, take the bins out, you know, I need you to, you know, build build a Wendy house or something like that. I don't have these things because of my de demographic. I do have children, I've got grandchildren, but I'm estranged somewhat from them, so... That's the, the sort of freedom I've got. So I can go out there and make an arse myself around it. He, he resents it. That's what's wrong with him. He's resentful. But he's also anonymous, right? So what we'll do is we'll just... Um, pour out spam or abuse and move on. So that was that, right? <laughs> now this guy here, I still haven't got out of dealing with this idiot. Oh, that's just too much. Look at that. Fucking hell. That was the idiot I wanted to be on cross. This one... You know what, I think I'm going to leave it at that now. This is too much to take on. So we've got remote control ducks. Um, so all the while, things are 
picking up. It's 3159. Picked up a couple of subscribers in the last hour or so. Um, things are going well. People resent it all. There's a lot of resentment. <laughs> you know? Don't resent people. I mean, it's like... Or do I resent people? Um, maybe I do. Maybe I resent people. Yeah? Maybe I do. Uh, I try not to. I don't, I don't think it's a positive thing. Um, get on with your life and do your, the best you can. We've only got a certain amount of time to do it. Go on with it and go on with it. You know? And that's what I'm doing. And people resent what I'm doing. It's their problem. It's not my problem. So you can send me these messages. If I send abusive messages, I'll just report them. I block them, and that's it. It's fine. Send them if, you, if that's how. If it makes you feel better. And the irony is, the funny thing about this is, what happens is people land up sending nasty messages, and it's only to themselves. The only person that gets to read it is them once they're blocked. So they're, they're actually sending nasty message to themselves. They're le reading it, going, "Where the fuck's it gone? I can't. Where, where's it gone?" I imagine that's how I mean I've never actually done it I don't tend to send people nasty messages I, I hope I haven't I maybe have I maybe have on Facebook yeah uh, but really it's not a good idea don't do it right so so um, on that note the other thing obviously is a lot of times people will dislike me for reasons <clears throat> that they don't want to say on here so you'll get this bitterness and ang anger you know aimed at me it might be that they don't they don't like that they're not in tune with their own sexuality or something or it could be anything really anything could spark them off but really live and let live you know anybody's welcome to come onto my channel anyone if they're going to be all right I don't care what your religion is I don't care what your skin color is your your ability disability whatever it is I don't care you're welcome but if you're going to start calling me a fanny and stuff then you're not welcome so. I call people fans because they deserve it, right? <laughs> or an arsehole. I got called an arsehole. So that's my favourite type drawing. The trees. I love trees. Um, it's just a... It's just, there's a metaphor, metaphorical side of it. Humanity. Um, the way they're all sort of floating around there. And it's quite tragic when we just come along with chainsaws, cut them down. It's usually green people that cut them down to. Uh, they're, they're evil. Evil traitors. They're green. Green Revolution, they're trying to destroy humanity. They're actually anti-human, they don't like humans. But the irony is, they don't want to compost themselves, is the irony. They want everybody else to do things while they sit around and enjoy the fruits of fossil fuels. And that's really the whole thing about it. And, night, you know, 100% of them are like that. Richard Attenborough. Is it Richard Attenborough, that, that cunt, flying around all over the world and telling us there's too many people on the planet. I mean, what... Tosser, you know. There's not enough people on the planet. Get shagging, have children, get on with it and stop moaning. The worst thing that ever happens is feminism. Feminism and anything that's got an ism at the end of it. Right? It's the worst thing that ever happened to humanity. So fight. Stop it. Go and complain to your councils. I'm trying to work out how to do that. If I can go around and film the council or without getting myself arrested. And, and actually take on serious topics like the parking and pavements and the 20 miles per hour limits and the, the ramifications of these on care workers. Maybe just pick on one thing. Care workers go to a job. They've got 36 jobs to do a day. They're using their private cars. They go there. There's nowhere to park. Park on a the pavement. They can't. What do they do? They just go back to the office and say, we can't do that. Client, there's nowhere for me to park my car. What are you going to do about it? And you say, well, that's outrageous. It's not outrageous. They don't want us parking on the pavement. Well, they're going to park their car like two miles away for the house they're going to. They never think about things like that, do they? Because the people that want these things don't have to actually do anything. They just sit there and moan. Anyway, you're right. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go now. Thanks. Like, share, and subscribe. Bye!